Hi, today I'm going to share with you the offset and internal offset feature in the Silhouette Design Store. First I'm going to do the offset, so I'm going to move these two over here. I'm going to make a copy of my original fonts, set it aside. With this font right here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit just so you can see. You'll notice that it is a script font, so it came in unwelded. I need to weld this before I work with the offset feature or else I'm going to get offsets where every one of these cut lines are. So I'm going to come up here to the quick toolbar and weld is one of the features up there and you'll see that I welded it all and now I'm not seeing the little connection marks anymore. However, it's not all grouped together as one um, unit now it's separate pieces, the little dots on the eyes and the B, the words that weren't touching or connected. So now I'm going to uh, click my right mouse and just make it a compound path. And now it's all one piece. From here I'm going to go ahead and give it some color so you can see what's going on. And now I'm going to do the first offset feature. From the offset window I have clicked on it and you can use this scroll arrow to continue making it larger or smaller, or if you wanted to work with the numbers, you can. For this offset, I just want to show you, I want to take it up so that I don't see any of the little pieces inside here to give it like a cloud look. And when it gets hard to do by the slide, I just come over here and begin to click on the arrows until they go away. At that point, I'm going to apply. And what I have done is I've created this little cloud-like look to the Brilliant Vinyl. This, these are two separate pieces. If I weld, if I make them a compound path, you'll see that, and give it color again, the color went away, you'll see that it's like Brilliant Vinyl is a cutout in the cloud, uh, which is a neat little look that you can use the offset feature for. I'm going to slide that one aside move in another copy of my original to show you a different technique you can do with this. Uh, again, I'm going to go through the same process. I'm going to weld them together and then I'm going to make them a compound path. At this point, I want to do a couple of offsets. First offset, I'm going to type in the number. I know I want 0 0.04 and I'm going to change it to corners because I want all the crisp corners of the T's and the I's. I want them as crisp as I can when I'm working with a font that's not all curved. I think it has a better look. I'm going to apply it and now I have that has offset and you'll see that I have three different boxes here. With, they're not all connected. So because the offset was just created, that's what is highlighted right now, just the offset feature. I need to make this now a compound path and what I'll do is I'll come up here inside the box and I will use my right mouse and make it a compound path. So I now have two layers. I'm working with that first offset. If I hit offset again, this time I want to increase it to a, zero, a point zero 0.06 to give it a little difference. I'm also going to click that corner to sharpen up the edges and I'm going to hit apply. And again, I'm going to make that one a compound path. Okay, and now I have three different fonts here. If I just give them color, stack them up on top of each other, they look like a big mass of nothing. If I then make that a compound path as a unit, you can see that it has a nice offset and it is a compound path, which is a really neat feature you can look at too. So just to review all of our fonts that we did, I'm going to bring them back on the screen so you can see them to see the difference in them. I'm going to go ahead and color this one in. You basically have a simple font, a script font you could just type. You've got this one that's going to give it that edge outlined or you got the one that sits in the fluffy looking little cloud. So that's three different ways that you can use the offset feature to give you three different looks for your text. Now I'm going to work with the internal offset feature. Let me zoom out a little bit. I'm going to grab these two images, drag them over to my screen. First I'm going to work with the coffee cup. I'm going to zoom in a little while, a little bit, so you can see I'm going to use the internal offset and when I clicked it you'll see that I have these black lines that are inside my cup. 
I want them as close to the edge as I can get them, so I'm going to use the slide here. If you make the number larger, like I just did, you lose. If you make it smaller, you'll gain the line structure that you want. So I think that's about as close as I would like it. I'm going to hit Apply, and I'm going to show you what I can do with this, which is kind of neat. If It helps you when you make designs that are your own creative designs, or if you want to manipulate a design you have purchased. Um, so what I would like to do is give my foam um, a different um, overlay, and possibly even my little saucer here in my um, design. So I'm going to use the knife tool over here on the right and I'm going to hold down my shift key and slice it straight across so I get a straight edge and I'm going to drag that steam right over on top of my original steam. I'm going to then give that steam a different color so you can just see the difference. Same thing with my plate. I'm going to give it a different color and drag it into position. So if you wanted to in your design to create an offset or to give it um, a layering then this is a simple way you can do it simply by using the internal offset button. You can then add some um, creativity to your otherwise just plain designs. With the star, there's another really neat way you can multiply your stars and make a lot of them without much effort at all by using the internal offset. So I'm going to click internal offset and I'm going to make sure that the corner is selected because I want that sharp crisp point. I'm going to leave it at the default of one, a point one two five, and because I did the offset, I'm working from this offset here. So if I hit apply, and then if I go back to internal offset and do it again, and do it again, I'm going to get this nested star is what I'm going to get. A cool thing you can do with that star is you can capture them all, make it a compound path, and then you have these individual stars that you can do. So when I cut it, I'm going to have this lined layered star effect, which is kind of neat. I'm going to bring the fonts back up here so you can see everything we did. Here's the three different fonts again that we worked with for the regular offset and then ways you can be creative with your shapes using the internal offset. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.